Evening. Um, me again, Chris. Uh, Real Dead One Forty, whatever kind of gubbins you want, really. Um, doing another drinky beer thing. Um, popped up to favourite beers in Cheltenham uh, a couple of weeks back and saw much to my. I was very pleased to find that there were some more beers by a, a brewer that I'd seen previously. So I'd had the um, Monkey IPA, um, I believe it's called, um, from Art Brew, who I, I believe are based down in Dorsetshire. Uh, so they had a couple more there. They had uh, one called Hip Hop, which is quite nice. Uh, I've drunk both of those now, though, so uh, you're not going to be able to see them. And the other one that, I, that they had there, which intrigued me, was this one. It was called, the label is a bit of a giveaway in some sense, Orange IPA. Uh, they've built this as their limited edition orangey pale beer from Art Brew, New World Hops and Zesty Orange Peel, combined in effortlessly. Um, that sounds brilliant to me. Uh, and I had, I, had, I had to pick up a couple. Now, you know, there's some things you do in the world and you think, you, you know, there's some beers that you can't get. I've been lucky enough to be sent, sent or passed on beers that I wouldn't be able to get hold of. So I've done a bit of a favour. One of these has gone up to Rob at Hopsine. Uh, do check out Hopsine's channel, by the way, because he knows an awful lot more about beer than I do. Um, one thing you should probably see, and I'll see if I can get this on the camera for you, is this health warning. I've tweeted this before, so if you've seen any of my tweets, you'll have seen it. Oh, bugger it, it's not going to show up. Let's see if I can get the light on the label there. There we are. Is that going to show up? Okay, the camera hates it. I'll have to read it to you. <clears throat> It says, uh, drink responsibly, don't start fights or arguments or even think about driving or operating machinery whilst under its influence. Uh, this bottle contains 3.25 units and there is a daily allowance, but those figures are made up. You are an adult. Now, I love that. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I've absolutely what drinking beer should be about. Clearly, if you go and drink six of these, you're a nitwit um, and you're going to be sloshed. Um, you have a couple. Well, technically, the government says you're over your allowance for the day. Are you really? Are you really? If you have a one or two decent beers at the end of a long day of work, you know, quench your thirst and, you know, just kick back and relax a bit. I don't think so. I think that's nonsense. Enough nonsense. On to the beer. Okay, orange cap, orange bottle, orange IPA, art brew. So, not much, oh, a little bit of smoke on the nose uh, on the bottle there, popping out. I won't pour the lot in, I'll reserve a little bit because these have been quite good for sharing. Um, there we go. Ooh. Weird old guy to start a pour there with the, the heady nose. Um, let's get my nose in. How far I've looked. What does it say? Well, it's certainly orange coloured. What else do I like that? A um, couple of fingers head. Cheeky, cheeky nose on that. Um, it's fighting its way through the head. Very, very, um, you know, we're very orange, as you'd expect, I suppose. <laughs> what, what, what else are you expecting? What, you know, it's not going to be like, you know, a banana flavoured one, is it? It's orange, it's New World Hops, possibly, you know, some sour mint. Something very, very tropical. And uh, you know, zesty about it. It's really, really starting to come in now. Now, now that the head's dissipated, I've only really got a nose full of head. Then that wouldn't be good. All right, enough. I'm going to try it. Wish me luck. Cheers. Mm. See, there's a lot of people saying, a lot of people saying 2013, it's a bad year, bad year for weather, bad year for the summer, summer's not coming. We're in May now, I think we maybe we've had a couple of false starts, it's still a bit chilly, frankly I've got a jumper over there, I haven't worn it for this because it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but you know, this, this beer, I feel... Could be the one for me that heralds summer 2013. 
is not overtly tangerine when you first get it in your mouth. That that kind of this uh, is orange zest really kind of works its way through and lands on the aftertaste. It's absolutely brilliant. What you do get in the first wash of flavour is a real tropical kind of buzz. Um, you know, some are beyond lilt um, and and you know up, up in the the higher end of things. There's, there's no pininess to this. It's a slight yeah that that orange zest works in kind of two ways and there's almost almost a little hint of the pith and i'm not less bit the pith of the orange um which you know clearly lots of people discard but if you if you were to like you, you've all done this when you're a kid yeah you know, chewed up the inside of an orange a little bit or maybe that was just me maybe it's because i grew up on a council estate and that's all we had to do for for um, entertainment um Ooh. That really is excellent. That really is excellent. Art Brew, you've done a wonderful job. Um, Rob, I think you're in for quite a treat. That's gone in the post this morning, so I, I look forward to you seeing that. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to have to try and find some way to get hold of these now. As far as I'm aware, they're not distributed much further than Cheltenham at the moment, which is a crying shame because these guys need to need to get their products out further. So I'll be having a word with the, the shops that I know of in, in Cardiff and seeing if they can try and source it. And um, my best give it a rating, I suppose. Ooh. No, oh, God. Do you know what? I've completely forgotten to tell you what the ABV was. It's 6.5% ABV. It just suddenly struck me that I could I could glug that like orange squash. It's absolutely beautiful. And I wouldn't notice the alcohol. There's, there's no burn there whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic. Um, what a summery drink. What a beautiful summery drink. And if somebody brought you one of these after you'd finished finished mowing your lawn on a hot day, it would be gone in 10 minutes, sadly. you know, um, What you've got to know is that you could savour this. And you could savour this for an hour. You want to find yourself a nice cool corner, where in the shade maybe even. Or, or at least somewhere you can pop the drink in the shade on a little table. Sit down. With your book, book of the lawn, not that to do it yourself, or you can get somebody to do it for you. Get one of the local kids to do it for you, pay them five quid. Um, you sit back, read your book, drink this. Um, I'll see you soon again, whatever the words are, again soon. Um, and uh, thanks for joining me, and cheers. Ooh.